Hey folks, welcome back to After Work Gaming. We are back in Void and Meddler with uh, more adventures with Finn. So we are back in Moor. Uh, last time we made friends with Goo, apparently. Uh, and then we also got this crowbar from our dealer friend, or our dealer who desperately wanted to be a friend. Uh, so now I'm assuming we use the crowbar on the door back here that we couldn't open because it was locked, even after our friend Goo decided to go back there. Finn, the door's open now, but the crowbar is broken. My best quality for my best friend. Gee, thanks, Bilal. Okie dokie. So let's go in. Hey, Goo. Whoa. Okay. Light. Uh, safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's another light. Okay, well, let's actually walk the dis... It, it, let's see if there's anything past here in the room. No, there isn't. This is kind of a crazy room. Okay. Uh, what about anything? There's a light that never goes out. Okay. Can we turn it off? I'm not going to touch it. No? Can you grab it? I'll leave it there. Okay, fine. What's in the safe? A safe. Did someone leave it here on purpose, or is it just some abandoned scrap? I don't know. Can we you punch it? What? Then it's already open. Oh. Okay, never mind. Um, can we grab it? Too heavy. Okay, can we use it? I don't know. I feel weird. Oh god, not again. Hello. Ah, yes. Then this black shrouded crowd reminds me that we hated gathering together. They're all there to cry, and yet none of them knew you. Thomas, you and I became very close to one another, or we uh, so we could face the world that frightened us so much together. The problem wasn't that we were too sensitive to withstand the harsh reality of our lives. No, the problem was that society wasn't meeting even our basic needs. I still remember our last gig. You vomited right in the audience's face, and those retards demanded more. Disillusioned youth. Ugh, I hate you as much as I admire you. In the end, there are no winners or losers. Maybe one day people will stop looking at the world in such a stupid, binary way. And please, stop telling me that I'm too cliché. Interesting. Ooh, there we go. Episode 1 end. <laughs> cool. Lost in a night loop. Uh huh, this is a new place. Finn, what? Where the fuck am I? Come on, Finn, you just woke up and you're already swearing. You can do better than that, can't you? I hear voices. Are they mine? Focus, Finn, focus. No. No, they're too consistent to be mine. My head. I can hardly breathe. I did not expect that to be so intense. Feeling something that really can really hurt. No wonder people turn to chemical happiness. Any way out is better than facing their own thoughts. Somehow, somewhere, something went wrong. I can't keep on living like this. I need a rehab, a, a cure for loneliness. So, where the fuck am I again? Like in a movie studio, I think. Dang. All right, let's uh, let's walk the let's walk the length of the room, right? Or kit projector. Okay. All right, might as well start here. Finn, there are explosions, naked people in cars. The movie's title is rather fitting. Random blockbuster uh, number or no degree we can't count anymore. Oh, <laughs> number we can't count anymore. Okay. Uh, can we use it or something? Grab it? Good idea, but no. Can we take it? Have you ever had this dream where you steal something and two minutes later you die? Kind of a weird response there, Finn. Crack to the future. 
a documentary about junkies traveling through time called Crack to the Future. Well, you just smoke, lie down, wake up hours later and say, Wow, I made an eight-hour jump into the future. <laughs> I'd, I'd still watch it. Um, okay, I think that's just the poster. The Rocky Era 404 show. Okay. The Rocky Era 404 show, a cult film for the past generation. Too cheesy for me. What, they're not going to do like a time warp gag? All right, fine. What's this? Electronic cabinet. There's got to be something in there, right? Beautiful beep beep machine. Can you use it or something? I won't do that. But, but... I wouldn't be able to move it. Okay, fine. Magnet. Can we pick up the magnet at least? Come on. It's a magnet. Okay, take it. Just think. You know you can use it. Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 stop. What is this? A hacker machine. What the hell? We didn't have a hacker machine before. That doesn't matter. I got Reels. I got Mad Mia. Alright, let's find out what they say about Mad Mia. And what is this? Probably another stupid car chase movie that doesn't make any sense. Hey, hey, Mad Max is a national treasure. Excuse me. Which, I guess, makes it a treasure from Australia. It doesn't matter. Wings of Disorder. Wings of Disorder, a hazy, noisy tale of love and life, mixing absurdity with harsh reality. A must-see. Okay, anything in the reels? Classic 35mm films. I'd love to bring them home, but they would take up too much space. Uh, okay, well, she says you wouldn't take them home. You know what, hold on. There's a 4K projector. Can we, like, mess with it with the magnet or something? Good idea, but no. All right, you don't have to be so emphatic about it. Jeez. 16K projector. They're screening six bodies without organs, an experimental movie made by this artsy director called Farewell L.H. Uh-huh. The room is nearly empty. Yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, turn it off. Nobody cares. One day, maybe, but not tonight. Oh. <laughs> I was going to save the audience the, the, the discomfort of watching that, I guess. Electrical cabinet. Beep, beep machine with lights. Use it. Nope. Fine. Space Oddities. Uh-huh. Always preferred Solaria, a beautiful metaphysical alternative to this boring movie from the other side of the world. Um, what's it called? It's called uh, Solaris, right? Solaris is actually a pretty solid movie. If you can find, I think there was a, a Soviet version of it, and then I know there was a George Clooney version, which I, I think was not as good. Born to Kill. Born to Kill! What a lack of poetry. All right, fine. It's down here. Reels. Check out these. And then we'll, I mean, if there's nothing in here, we'll exit. Uh, 35 millimeter reels. I could switch them. Uh, that would be funny, but I don't have time for that. 35 millimeter only. What about these? Oh, no, it's the same thing. Same thing. Sorry. Uh, 8 millimeter projector. Mm-hmm. A movie projector. It looks like it's been customized to screen 8 millimeter films. I wonder why, unless you have a very specific movie to show, this format doesn't belong here. All right, we need to find like an 8mm cassette, don't we? Or an 8mm um, tape. Is there something in here? There's a note on it saying that the lens needs to be changed with the full instructions. Hello. Perfect. Uh, I need to insert a reel and change the lens. Well, okay. Uh, and that is the end... Of this room. Okay, let's exit and see where we are and what we can see. Wait, hold on. Purple. There was a thing called purple neon here. Purple neon. I'm still an addict. I should take it. Uh, well, take it. Okay, I want you in my room. Wait, what? You said I'd do whatever you... No, 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 come on. You said... I'm still an addict. I should take it. Right. So take it. All right, you know what? Never mind. Leave. <laughs> I think she's just messing around with me. The door pushes me like a magnet. I can't touch the door handle. What the fuck is happening to me? Okay, that's new. Is this the same thing? Yeah. Okay, so if it pushes you like a magnet, can we use a magnet on it? I said no. It's interesting. 
Tapes. Did we, did we see the tapes before? I don't think so. Tapes. Magnetic tapes. It looks like all of them are home videos. I don't know what they're doing here. I feel all dizzy looking at them. These are someone else's memories. I'd need an old tape player to watch them. I, I have one at home, but what would be the point? It feels like my head is overloading again. I, I can't focus. Are the tapes here? Yeah. Interesting. Um... Can we wipe? Well, this would be kind of weird, but we can't wipe the tapes or anything, can we? Oh, what do you know? <laughs> Finn, these memories are better forgotten. They'll be blank again, ready to be rewritten. Letting go of the past can be a real painkiller. I'm enjoying the silence again, at least. Crazy. So this is like, um... So does that mean that physics, because memories are, tan are tangible in this world, right? So does that mean that when, like, there are memories around her, that, like, she feels a certain pull and, and uh, disturbance? That's nuts. All right, is there anything else back here? Nope. Okay, let's leave now. We should be able to leave. That was scary. It's almost like there's nothing to feel now that this strange feeling is gone. I'm with you, Finn. ID card, perfect. And there's an exit. Screen, alright, let's just, uh, let's pick up this ID card first. Like an old punk, or some punk, passed out in the theater. Because uh, they're screening the movie, right. Finn, somebody lost their identity card. So sad. I right, just take it. Could come in handy, who knows. Perfect. Perfect. Do we know whose it is? No. Um... There's an exit. There's an emergency exit. Interesting. Finn, I never wanted to be an actress. It's hard enough to live your own life. Why bother living someone else's? Alright, let's go through just the regular exit, and if not, then we'll run through the emergency exit. Finn, the atmosphere is heavy, and my head feels heavier. I can't breathe. There's no air, no wind, no love. The light's reflecting in the void. This is really cool. Check this out. Um, is there anything to look at here? Exit emergency, I see. Elise. Uh, Harry and Elliot. Dan. Subway, as always. I wonder what stop we're at, because this is clearly not where we were before. Um, Alright, you know what? Let's do this. Let's go talk to Elise first. We'll talk to the people outside, maybe we'll see what happens when we try the emergency exit. And then we'll... I beg your pardon. What? Crazy. And then uh, I think we'll call it there, but hold on. Finn, she's sure we know each other. Well, I'll stop with that. Okay. At least, hey, hi Finn, how's it going? Finn, hmm, do I know you? At least, oh Finn, you're always a riot. So, how come you're gracing me with your presence in my workplace? It's not like I never invited you. And whatever, you know damn well why I never wanted to come by. At least, yeah, well, forget it. So, what brings you here, then? Finn, I'm not sure. I, I've been having a few blackouts tonight. It's like I'm feeling something and an, an aura emanate from the building. I have to figure out why. At least, I was put aside tonight. Something's going on for sure. Probably something bad, if you know what I mean. I'd be careful about where I stick my nose if I were you. Then that's exactly the type of excitement I was looking for tonight. Can you tell me more? At least, I won't help you with your shenanigans, Finn. Even less so with the risk of losing my job. If that's all you need from me, then you can leave. Then come on, be nice for once. At least, nice? I hope you're joking. Away from me before I get even more annoyed with you. Hey, by the way, is this your ID? You said I'd do whatever you want. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's try the emergency exit real quick. Oh. Never mind. It's the... 
It's the same thing. Alright, fine. Uh, nothing else, nothing else. Okay, come on. Let's take a bit of a run. Let's see who else is out here. Got computer-headed people, it looks like. Harry and Elliot. Finn, these two are inseparable. Harry is a little too fashion geeky for my taste, but he knows how to take care of Elliot, despite their varying opinions on a lot of things. As for Elliot, as for Elliot, I'm impressed by I'm impressed by him every time we have a conversation. Finn, hey Harry, it's been a while. Your gadget looks neat. Can I try it? Harry, impossible. It only works with me. Finn, another one of those things linked to your DNA? Total bullshit. There's no way of having any fun in this city. Harry, stop complaining. I'm sure you have access to way more exciting things than this. I've got something else that you might like, though. I found this in my grandfather's personal effects after he passed. I never really understood it, but uh, he looked so happy when he talked about it. Supposedly, it would help him see the world through a different lens. Things the normal eye couldn't see. Then, gosh, what do you want in exchange? Harry, yeah, it's my heritage. I can show you, but I can't really give it to you unless... Elliot's not feeling well at the moment. I, I, I've checked all his circuits, but there's nothing there. I can't tell where the problem is coming from. Maybe you could find the problem for, uh, for you. After all, you always saw the world differently than everyone else. Finn, that's right. You're trying to be ironic about my handicap. I'm truly a good friend. Harry, am I dreaming or is it really Finn telling me this? Finn, all right. I'm sorry I said the bad things about your hair last time. It was a mistake. Harry, mistake my ass. I got used to it. Come on, show me you still are the best. Finn, anything to end this discussion? Tell me everything, my friend. What is going on? Elliot. <laughs> oh, man. I really like the little smiley face on him. Elliot. The world is empty. I must. 01100110000100, etc, 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 etc. I'll see. I'll put it in the comments if I can maybe disentangle that into something that actually gets translated from binary. Uh... Look at me, don't say these things, did not compute. Don't say these things. And don't say these things. You're the chosen one, the only one who can help Harry. Elliot, heek and even. 01100011011, etc, etc. With me, and I should help him? Then it's a problem, I know. Try seeing things in a different light. Why expect so much from him? Elliot, I want him to zero one 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 zero 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 etc etc etc. What I feel. Then I understand your disarray. Simply imagine the destructive side of your desire. No one can really feel what we feel deep inside us. Elliot, yes, but I do say this. It's like I'm talking to an entity outside our reality. Hmm. Maybe. Do you think Harry would let me? Zero one one zero one 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 one. To make me happy? Finn, but obviously you two are accomplices. That doesn't mean you have to stick together 24-7. Elliot, thanks, Finn. I'll go ponder about that. I was feeling so disoriented. Nobody had anticipated that in my programming. Coming from you, it's almost 0110011001101. Finn, yeah, he scares me a little too. I, I, I think I've earned my reward. All right, shit, Finn. I should ask you for help more often. I don't know how it will turn up, but, um... It's the first time Elliot speaks like that. Finn, easy with the compliments before I start getting used to them. Harry, <laughs> here, like I told you. I don't get how the thing works, but try it for yourself. Just try not to break them too fast. What the heck? Headphones. Nice. Thought we might have to hack into Harry or something. Okay. Uh, who's this? Dan. Dan with someone very, very short. Or maybe Dan's just very tall. Finn, strange, he looks familiar. It's like, I've met him before, but not in this city. Okay, let's talk to Dan. Finn, you all right there? Whoa. Dan, no. Finn, figures, you look like 10 pounds of shit stuffed into a 5 pound bag that's also made of shit. Dan, mm -hmm. I, I, I don't think I'm supposed to be here. 
Finn, sorry? Dan, I mean, there's this... Things just don't feel right, okay? This place, these people... Finn, are you, are you going to die? Dan, I'm, I'm fine, just... Having some kind of reaction. Finn, so you're a junkie? Dan, I, I prefer the term psychonaut. Thank you. Then okay, so you're a pretentious junkie. Gotcha. Is he getting bigger or is it just me? Dan, well, aren't you just a delight? Then is that why you're so skinny? Did you spend all your lunch money on pills? Dan, I'm not talking to you, okay? You're not even real. Then hate to break it to you, but... Dan, nope. Any second now, your head's going to split open and start pewing, spewing candy floss or something. And then, it's going to be more goddamn spiders, or worse. Christ. Finn, you need help, man. Dan, this is the last time I buy unmarked medication from Vitality. Who reputable source my ass. Finn, mm, Okay. Bye. Interesting. Uh... Are you gonna calm down? If oh, Finn. There's but a strange sizzle, a dead signal, a bit frightening. How does it work? There might be no music stored in it. This might just be just a receptor. I must be at the wrong place. Ah, okay. So, a not so subtle hint for the fact that I should probably go, you know, to a specific place and turn it out like it, it, it's you listen into the radio or whatever. Whoa! Slash. We're in some deep shit, man. Bobby, relax. He's gonna be there. Slash, bullshit, man. I called it. His paranoia got the best of him. He's never gonna leave that rat hole of his. Shit. We've been planning this for months. He just had to bring us the film. Nothing more. But no. He's probably hiding God knows where instead of doing what his goddamn job. Bobby, look. I know. But we have to trust him. I really think... Slash, trust him my ass! Dan rigged up the 8mm projector for us. He could get fired for that. And if we wait too long, we might not be able to get in. Bobby, nonsense. He's just waiting for us at the door. Nobody's going to bother him. He can't wait 10 minutes longer. Slash, yeah, well, the situation probably ain't going to change in 10 minutes. Do I have to remind you that a few handful of people had the chance to see this film? I mean, shit. There's only one copy of this damn thing in existence, and the man was pretty clear. We have to return the film tomorrow so it can keep getting exposure and so forth. The film must stay alive. Unique, but alive. Bobby, I've heard this story a million times before. Do you really think I'd forgotten? Slash, ha, he... He had one thing to do. Keep the film secure until tonight. But no, that idiot decides to cut all lines of communication with us. I knew it. I told you so. I fucking knew it. I was so excited at the prospect of seeing that film. Hell, you know what they've been saying about it. I wonder why it didn't find distribution, though. I mean, beyond the controversy, the legend, the emotions and souls captured directly on the film, I I know it's nuts, but I want to believe it. It's Dusty No Burst, la no burst Last Film. They say it's so intense that its content was deemed too dense for one person to absorb. Hence, why we're, why we're arranging the screening in this big cinema. That's why it's tricky. Weeks of preparations, the projector, Dan, promotions, everything has got to be in place, all done under the watchful eyes of the stars. You know how hard it is to keep something that big a secret? Bobby, you keep repeating yourself. Slash, an experimental film about the most influential artist of our time. But no, that lazy piece of shit decided that it was too risky for him. Bobby, I admit, he was a bit strange the last time I saw him, always talking about people following him and watching him. Maybe you should, maybe he shouldn't have stopped drinking. Being sober really doesn't do him any favors. Flash, no matter, we won't be able to screen Heroin Sane tonight. What will they say if we can't give them their copy back? Finn, I, I think you'll have to say goodbye to your hands, fellas. Slash, hey, what? Who the fuck are you? Finn, nobody. So, Finn, those knuckleheads must have been talking about the custom projector I saw up there. I think I should focus on that. Might be worth the shot. Follow your instincts, Finn. Okie dokie. Interesting. Alright, so, we'll call it there. It looks like this is the, uh, that's the, um... 
sort of that's the hook for this for this next act and we'll go from there if you guys enjoyed this like comment subscribe tell a friend let me know that i'm doing something right let me know that you guys want to see more of this stuff if you have thoughts about the game you think i'm overlooking something or you just have thoughts on you know what's going on and story wise by all means leave a comment everything's welcome and in any case i'll see you all next time Brother, <laughs> <laughs>